I'm actually freaking out. Yeah. We're going bare as the day we were born. <laughs> it hit me that I'm not going to wear, be wearing a top on the zip line. <laughs> Last minute words from the brave women who bared no shame in stripping down in the zip zone. 45 women signed up for the fourth annual Zip Naked event, which raises money for the Breast Cancer Foundation. The first year we had uh, eight ladies came out, we raised $1,600. The next year we had uh, 84 ladies came out, we raised $16,000. The last year we had 63 ladies and we raised $25,000. So this year we're trying to keep up with that and then raise another $25,000. The event was actually started by the Kelowna SS Rodeo Roller Girls team. And each year, the ladies return to the zip line to fundraise and cheer on the newcomers. It is incredible, um, the feeling inside that we get with the women that come out, um, the camaraderie of it. It's just, it's a great community yeah, that we have proud. here. Mm -hmm. And all of BC, actually, we had some women last year that were, um, they came from the mainland, Vancouver, and there's very, very big support. For the first time, a representative from the Breast Cancer Foundation attended the event, which brings women from around BC together for a united cause. These women are so committed to raising money for the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation and for creating a vision of a future without breast cancer. So I just had to come up here and see everyone in action, see them having a great time and also celebrate their success and thank them in person for their, for their efforts. Each of the participants had their own reasons for letting it all hang out while they zipped a nerve-wracking 38 feet in the air across two kilometers of the Deep Creek Gorge. For a very, it's a very serious reason. I've had uh, of someone very dear to me die not too long ago, a couple of months ago, of cancer. She was a breast cancer survivor. And another close friend of mine just survived breast cancer. And I figure if they can survive and fight this disease, I can supply them. I'm, I'm so amazed the number of people that have been affected out there. You know, family member or what, like when I raise money, people that had breast cancer that I didn't know. If those women are going to survive what they survive, we can come and zip line and raise some money and have some fun, but also raise some really important funds for something that's really touched most people that you know in your life. At least one person you know has probably been touched by cancer of some sort. Uh, my mom was diagnosed with cancer two years ago. She passed away this year. Um, it wasn't breast cancer, but any kind of funding for any kind of cancer to me is worth it. We're here to support breast cancer research and yeah. to have a great time and we are we're just gonna have an absolute ball. One in nine women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime as breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer among Canadian women. Jen Zielinski in Peachland for Castanet News.